G'day, g'day. It's Nick here in Rock and Wicked Wildlife. And today, I want to talk to you about snakes. Surprise, surprise. And in particular, whether or not snakes like this tiger snake here actually do chase people. So stick around, guys. They're pretty dangerous. So living out here in country Australia, and in particular doing venomous snake shows in rural areas, barely a week goes by where I don't hear a story about snakes chasing people. Now whether or not these stories are true is an argument that will probably go on until the end of time, with the vast majority of everyday Australians telling you that snakes definitely do chase people, and the vast majority of snake catchers, zookeepers, biologists, etc. saying that they've never been chased and it just doesn't make sense. Now at first glance it seems pretty strange that the people who actually have an understanding of snakes never seem to get chased, and the people who maybe know a little bit less than they think have all these stories about getting chased. Now it's certainly not like they can tell the difference with a snake catcher versus the average farmer out in the field. He's not going to chase one and not chase the other because he goes, oh this guy might have the upper hand. He can't tell the difference, a person is a person, they're all a threat to him. So why is it that one group say that they're getting chased and one group isn't? An interesting insight into this comes from a study done by the University of Sydney on the eastern brown snake, this fella here, where basically they put radio transmitters into 40 eastern brown snakes and tracked them over the course of about a year. Now during the course of this study, as they tracked these snakes, every time they encountered one, they'd record the reaction of the snake when they approached it. Now out of a total of 455 human snake interactions, they concluded that basically half the time the snakes retreated. Almost all the rest of the time, the snakes were so convinced in their camouflage or their hiding place that they didn't move at all. In 12 of these cases, however, the snake was recorded to approach the observer, and in three of these, the snake's reaction was recorded as being aggressive. So, in at least three out of 455 cases, the snake displayed a behaviour where it approached a person in what could be considered an aggressive manner. What's left open to interpretation, however, is whether or not this entails chasing somebody. And this basically comes down to, what do we consider chasing? You see, the issue with snake and human interactions is we know how dangerous these guys are. What we fail to realise, though, is that doesn't mean they're the top of the food chain. Snakes have a great many predators out in the wild, like goannas and foxes and dingoes and birds of prey, all sorts of things that love to eat snakes. And in a snake's mind, a human being falls into the same category as all these. It's not a separate entity. It's something bigger than me that has the ability to kill or eat me. So it's going to react the same way. So why did these 12 snakes in this study approach the observer? Well, there's a couple of reasons this could happen. The first one is, let's say a tiger snake like Tig here is out in the bush, and he knows where his dozen or so hiding holes in the immediate area are. If somebody approaches him, and he thinks he can safely get past you to get to his hiding hole, he will do that. Now the average person isn't going to watch him slither between their legs and realise where he's going. They're going to turn around and they're going to run for their life. Now this, in their mind, and quite understandably so, is conveyed to them as being chased. However, his goal was not to catch up to them. It was to get past them to get to safety. The reply that I generally receive when I say this, particularly out here in farming areas, is while well, I was way out in the open, out in a paddock, and he had all this room to run away and move the opposite direction. What we have to remember though, is just like I said before, this guy here doesn't view you as any different to all his other predators. And what we don't realise is, the vast majority of his predators out in the wild can actually outrun him. So in this animal's mind, out in that open area, he's still got no choice but to come towards you to scare you away, because if you were any other predator and he turned his back and he ran away, you're going to run him down and eat him. So in this case, the best defense is actually a really good offense. Again, his goal isn't to catch up to you. It's kind of like any other animal. If you have a cow or something stuck in a set of yards and he throws his head around and he wants to come through you, his goal is to get to the other side. It's not to get to you. And a snake is really no different. When you start to think about this logically, it makes a lot more sense. You see, if snakes actually chased people, do they chase goannas and dingoes and eagles? If not, why not? If they did, there'd be no snakes left here today. On top of that, if a snake was to chase a person, it's not like he's going to get away, go to the pub and tell his friends about his triumph. He's probably going to end up in six pieces at the blunt end of a garden implement of some sort. 
It doesn't make any sense. That being said, I can hardly blame people for believing and passing on stories about snakes chasing people because snakes definitely do have behaviours that to the untrained person can make you feel like you've been chased by a snake. Really, it's not a matter of whether they do or whether they don't, it's a matter of being able to interpret their behaviour and understand what they're actually doing, what's going on. So there you go. That is why the vast majority of snake catchers, zookeepers, biologists, anybody who understands snakes will tell you that snakes do not chase people. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our other future videos about Australian wildlife. On top of that, if you haven't already, check out our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Wicked Wildlife, where you guys can help our videos keep rolling out every single week. Other than that, guys, please be careful around snakes, and as always, have a good one and take care.